What's up guys, Case Girl here, welcome back to another video. This is Viper OS 6 based on Android 9, the most stable ROM in extent for a few Android smartphones. Viper OS is an Android custom ROM which aims to bring stability and useful features. If you're looking for a stable ROM with a true tested features, minimal bugs, then this ROM is the one you must give it a shot. This ROM uses Lineage OS as a foundation which means it is more secure than any other the ROMs out there. As usual, I have installed Wiper OS 6.7 on my Pocophone F1 or Poco F1. So let's discuss everything about this ROM which includes pros and cons. Well, starting with pros, by default, this ROM comes with a standard launcher which provides all the basic functionalities. Swiping to the right will let you view Google Cards and swiping up from the bottom reveals the apps feature where you get to see all of the installed applications on your phone. Now it's time to show you the version which I am running by jumping into settings about phone. And as you can see, this ROM is based on Android Pi stable build. Now talking about security, uh, this ROM is no match in terms of security security when you compare it with other ROMs. Since it's based on Lineage OS, the status of SC Linux is set to enforcing which means it prevents applications and services from accessing a system files that they are not supposed to be. This way a potential malicious process is limited and your security preserved. Now when it comes to customization, oh boy, there is a lot you can do it with this ROM. Inside settings, under the category of Venom, you can see there are a lot of options available to customize everything so easily and each category has organized in a very neat way. There is a dedicated toggle that is present inside the quick tile menu to access these advanced settings. Now I'm going to talk about a few features of this ROM. So this ROM provides a one plus style of navigation gestures. It works across the system and these navigation gestures make the whole user experience much faster and easier. You can swipe up from the bottom to jump into the home screen just like that and as swiping up from the bottom holding it for a second it reveals the app switcher where you can view all of the recently opened applications. Now to use a back gesture you can either a swipe up from the bottom left or right or to go a one step back. Keep in mind these navigation gestures may not work as intended it and at a certain point it becomes unresponsive and you may end up restarting your phone. Next up, when you're inside the app switcher, you can close all of the applications with a gesture. You can simply use a swipe down gesture just like that to free up the RAM space. This is so cool if you feel your phone is running out of memory, you can use these a shortcut gesture to free up the system space. Now talking about uh, gestures, you can double tap anywhere on the home screen uh, to invoke the torchlight. I feel this gesture is quite handy and you don't need to use any quick tile panel to access the torchlight toggle. Just with this simple double tap gesture, you can quickly control the state of the flashlight. When it comes to system level of customization, you can see there are a lot of things you can do. Under the color manager toggle, you can use the accent color according to your fancy. At the same time, you can also customize the look and feel of the quick tile styles. As you can see, there are a lot of styles available and you can select any one just like that. Also, you can change the style of the toggle switches and there are a few switch styles available that can be applied with a single tap. Now when it comes to lock screen, you can customize the look of the clock. There are four styles available at the moment and look so cool. Overall, I would say there are tons of options available that you can dig around. Normal things like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, fingerprints, Wi-Fi hotspots, UPA applications, white wine L1 certification, everything works fine. And the performance and battery life both are good. While gaming, I did play PUBG at HDR Extreme mode. It feels super good and you may notice a few frame drops and lag. When it comes to battery, I do get a 5 plus hours of SRT which is not bad. 
Now it's time to talk about accounts. This ROM is, seems to be obsolete and you may not expect to see any further builds in future. In fact, the developer of this ROM for Pocophone FWIN or Poco FWIN is going to close the thread, but OnePlus users may hope to see any future builds based on Android 10. Now when it comes to navigation gestures, as I told you, there is a slight glitch in the system UI which would make the whole device freeze for a moment and may become unresponsive. Even though this ROM is more secure, but still I don't understand why it didn't pass a safety net check test and don't worry, UPI applications work fine. So the bottom line of this video, definitely this ROM is the most underrated ROM which I have ever come across. A big kudos for the developers for their efforts putting in this ROM and I hope they continue to provide a support for the older Android devices. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. This has been KSK Royal. Peace out.